Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I actually got a new course launch for you. My new course professional app development with CICD is now live. And in this video I will quickly summarize what you will get with this course, what you will learn, who this course is actually for and at the end I will answer some commonly asked questions regarding my premium courses. All in all, when I actually got into the first company I worked for, I was pretty overwhelmed with all the different new workflows I actually experienced in that company. And I didn't learn this in university, yet it was still somehow expected that I know about these workflows. And that's just what I recently thought about. So we all know that the life in a company is of course different than the life in a university. That's totally normal. But there wasn't really a way to easily prepare for the corporate world and the software industry. Nobody really tells you how things work there in detail. You actually have to just go there and experience it yourself, then hoping that you will actually adapt to these new workflows quickly. And that's why I actually made this course. So this new course should prepare you as an Android developer for the practical world. And the focus of this course lies clearly on CI/CD. So if that's something completely new to you, CI basically stands for continuous integration and is all about automating the decision you can say whether you want to integrate one branch on your version control into another branch. And there are just a lot of things you want to make sure are correct before merging one branch into another. So if you are actually working in a company, it's very common that you have such a so-called CI pipeline in place, which will, for example, automatically run your application's test cases before you merge these changes into to, for example, the production branch. So that is the CI part of CI CD. The CD part stands for continuous delivery and is basically all about automating the deployment of your app. So in regards to Android, that would mean that we automatically deploy updates of our app to Google Play. So instead of just going to our Google Play console and dragging in our APK file, entering all the details manually, we can also set up a so-called pipeline or workflow that allows us to automatically do this for us as soon as we, for example, merge one branch into another or as soon as we push some changes to a branch in GitHub. And these are just things you will find in pretty much any professional software company that are very helpful to know there. And that's something you will really find in pretty much any professional tech company out there. And it's also something that you will typically not learn in a university or school. And while the focus of this course clearly lies on CICD, what I just explained, this will um, not be everything you will learn. You will also learn things like common branching strategies in the tech world so that you actually arrange your Git branches in a way that allows you and your team to actually easily work together on a big project and that nobody actually messes things up. So in this course we will actually build an app together with which we will simulate all these common workflows together. So you will directly write some test cases, you will set up your CI pipelines that will automatically run these test cases, you will learn how you actually arrange your branches or how branches are commonly arranged in the tech world, how you can distribute your app automatically to a testing team how you can automatically deploy your app to Google Play, how you make pull requests to actually approve or decline changes and automatically trigger some, some common workflows and all these things that belong to that. So who is this course actually for? This course is clearly for those who actually want to learn about how these common workflows in the tech industry work or for those who just want to learn about CI, CD for Android because the biggest part of the course will be about setting up pipelines, configuring these so you can actually fully set up your own pipelines after this course and automate whatever you want to automate. Also in my experience as a freelancer, so if you're a freelancer that is a huge help if you actually have a client and the first thing you do is actually setting up a CI pipeline that will verify if everything works for your, for your app whenever you push some changes that will really boost up your development speed and impress your clients. Next question, what actually happens if you are stuck somewhere in the course and can't really proceed? Nobody who gets my premium courses really needs to to quit because they, they are stuck somewhere. If you're stuck and you don't know what to do to fix your problem, then you can always just hit me up either via Instagram, you can find the link down below, or via email at mail at pl-coding.com and I will be happy to help you out if it's a premium course. Next question, are there any prerequisites or what should you actually know before taking this course? So all in all, there are no real prerequisites here because it's not a very coding heavy course. So you should of course have some
some kind of experience with building Android apps, you, you should have built some very basic apps already. But since the CI CD part doesn't involve a lot of coding, this uh, won't be necessary here. So we will build an actual app, but it's a rather simple app. It's a calculator. It also doesn't mean that if there is something you don't understand in that app building part, that you don't really benefit from this course. That's not true since, yeah, again, the CI CD part is what uh, the course focuses on and that's what you will learn here regardless of how the app looks like. And one more prerequisite, if you actually also want to deploy your app automatically to, to Google Play, then you of course need access to the Google Play console, which costs, I think, $25 once. So you can actually deploy and upload your APKs to Google Play. Next question, will you actually get a certificate and absolutely you will get a certificate. And I think especially for this course, that's really helpful because with that certificate, you can easily show off that you enrolled in a course and learned with a course that um, taught you all these common processes and workflows in the tech world. And the last real question, what if you actually don't like this course? So you end up getting it, but you see, okay, that's not what I expected. That's not what I like. What can you do in that case? Because I am convinced that you will highly benefit from all my premium courses. I offer you a 30 day 100% money back guarantee. So in case you get this course and you end up not liking it, you can just hit me up in either Instagram or email again and I will refund 100% of your money. And before you actually check out the description to check out the course, there are actually two more very quick things. On the one hand, there is a giveaway. Among all people who get this course within the first week, I'll randomly select two winners who will get a highly individual code review and a structural analysis of, of a project of their choice, basically. So you can pretty much invite me as a collaborator to any of your projects and I will give you a full code review of your whole code base and telling you what your issues are, how you can improve on these and also which things and skills you should focus on in future. You will find all the detailed giveaway conditions down in this video's description. And as a last thing here, for the first week after this launch, you will get 25% off not only on this new course, but also on all my other premium courses. To secure that discount, simply use the discount code CICD during checkout. And those who follow me for a while already will know that I don't really have discounts that often, especially not as much as this one. I think the last one I had was during Easter, which is now already four or five months ago. So if only one little part of you is considering to get one of my courses, then now is really the best time to do that if you like saving money. This discount is effectively available for a week. After that, I will raise the prices again. So now do check out the first link in this video's description, check out the course, check out what you get. And I'm actually super grateful for everybody who gets this course. You are actually the only reason why I can also publish all these regular free videos here on YouTube. So thank you. Enjoy the course. Happy learning. And I'll see you back in the next video. Bye bye.